Looking like a pretty nice forecast for this last weekend of summer. We are going to be expecting those summer temperatures to stick around all weekend long. Probably tracking a couple chances for rain as well, and that is going to bring back some of those fall-like conditions as we get into next week. Now, we're going to be headed out to that game later on today. I think it'll start off pretty nice just in those low 80s. Plenty of sunshine all day, but that just brings those summer temperatures back this afternoon. We get back right around 90 degrees, so throughout the game, just expect that heat to get worse, and you will want to stay hydrated if you're going to be outside for too long. Definitely maybe grab some lighter clothes clothing we're just gonna that just makes it easier for you to really lose some of that heat and again that's gonna last throughout all of the game maybe definitely want to grab that sunscreen as well you can burn in as little as 30 minutes if you're gonna be out there without that sunscreen so just make sure you've got that and stay hydrated just take care of yourself if you'll be headed outside but really anytime all weekend long we're gonna be tracking this summer like conditions sticking around for quite a while here here into the afternoon maybe getting a couple clouds rolling through as a disturbance just sits off to the southeast but I'm not expecting any showers for today maybe as we we get into tomorrow, we'll actually see a little bit of that enter the area here. You still can't really see a lot on future track. It will certainly bring a bit more of that cloud cover in from the south and actually a little bit more moisture as well. So expecting, or excuse me, as we get into Sunday to be a little bit more humid, but maybe just looking out for a pop up shower or two. It's as we get into Monday that we'll really start to see those rain chances increase. Not really throughout the day here. This isn't even until Wednesday or excuse me, until Monday evening. This is going to be right around dinner time where we'll start seeing some of these showers entering some of our weather western counties as a cold front gets closer to the area. I think you're going to be good to go for that Monday morning commute, not expecting any rain by that point, but certainly as we get into the afternoon and evening, this is right around dinner time again, especially in our western counties. Look out for that rain, but all of us are going to be getting some showers and storms once this cold front pushes through here. This is going to be pretty impactful across all of the area, and if it gets here a little bit earlier, could see some of these storms packing quite a punch, especially in the earlier evening hours. But I think as we get throughout the rest of the night, we're going to see this settle down just a little bit. By the time we get into Tuesday morning, most of that that's already out of the area, just maybe hanging on to some of our southeastern counties by that point, and it's going to be out of here very quickly as we get throughout the day on Tuesday. Just tracking lots of sunshine behind that and maybe even some better temperatures as well. We're just going to see temperatures drop almost 15 degrees with that high between Monday and Tuesday. Definitely going to be feeling a lot like fall for the rest of the week, but still got some of those summer temperatures to enjoy this weekend.